Hi, my name is James Hubbard, and this is my project for Grantham University, my capstone project. My number is G00130004, and for my project, I created a glow-in-the-dark, solar-powered cell phone charger that also powers with electrical power. This is my project. It has 6-volt solar panels on both sides. Uh, it has a two ports right here to charge two devices. It'll charge either Apple or iPhone or both. Uh, it'll charge those devices at the same time or you can charge one device at once if you want. It has a cord right here. This is how you charge with using the electrical outlet. You unzip this pouch, pull out this cord, plug it into the wall, and it'll charge the solar powered cell phone charger. It'll take approximately two hours and it'll charge it up. Uh, internally to the solar cell phone charger has two lithium batteries. Uh, their minimum voltage capacity is 3.7 volts and then they charge up to a maximum capacity of 4.2 volts. And when you want to charge your phones what you do is you flip this switch on this side and that'll send power to these as you can see the red lights are on and it'll charge both of your devices at once. So what we'll do is we'll hook up two cords and show you that this will charge two devices. Second cord This is a Samsung Android phone that we'll be using for testing. And this is a iPhone 7 that we'll be using for testing. What we'll do is that off. Then I will take We'll flip this switch and both phones cut on because they are charging. Then we will disconnect the cords when you want to store this. This is the electrical outlet cord. We're going to put it back in its pouch. The other great thing about this pouch is it has a little hook. So you can hook this to your belt or backpack or whatever if you're going camping. Just hook it and then say you're out somewhere, your phone dies, you just stop, plug it in here, your batteries will be charged up by the solar panels, and you'll be able to charge your devices. Um, some of my challenges during this project was finding a case. Originally, I wanted to go with a case like this, but I could not find one, so I went with uh, a wood case. I was going to make a case out of wood. Uh, which that didn't work out the way I planned it. So I kept looking and I was able to find this case uh, in the fifth week of the course and get it ordered and get everything designed. Um, some of the challenges with this case was obviously making all my cutouts. I had to use um, tools that I have, um, uh, Dremel and um, X-Acto knives and uh, files to file out and make holes for my two USB ports as well as the switch as well as the port, the hole for the port to charge it with electrical power. Uh, internal to this case, um, as you can see, you see the 6 volt solar panels. Uh, it has two lithium batteries. It has a USB power board as well as a USB charging board. 
Um, another challenge was the glow in the dark feature. It does glow in the dark, but I used a glow in the dark paint, which didn't coat the case evenly. So if I had more time, I would put LED lights around the case and I would make that the glow in the dark feature instead of the glow in the dark paint. Thank you for your time.